Welcome friends, in this video we're going to be talking about JavaScript arrays. This is going to be a short video, so let's get right to it. Let's first talk about what is an array. An array is a data structure or a list or a collection of numbers or strings or objects, and they're stored in a value store. And what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to give you some examples of how we add to arrays, subtract, append, delete. So just a few basic functions on how to do arrays. And this is pretty common among all programming languages. In this video, I'm going to be using JavaScript. I'm going to upload this code to GitHub and put that in the description if you'd like to use it as well. All right, so let's first talk about the three types of arrays that we can use here. First one is numbers. So this could be just a set of numbers, zero, five, nine, just gave five numbers. You don't need quotes around those because they won't be converted. The next one is strings. So this one, you do need quotes around if you want them to be text. So let's say you have numbers and you want to treat them as text, then you need quotes around them. So that way, if you're doing strings or letters, then you're gonna need quotes. So in this case, I've just given a few different values in this string. All right, so here what we have is objects and objects are multiple attributes related to each other. So for example, I have songs here and I have artist Eilish and song bad guy. So those two are related together. And then I have another object defined by a new set of curly braces. We have artist Gaga and song telephone. And then lastly, we have another one defined by curly braces. So we have three objects in the same array. So those are a few examples of the arrays. Now let's go through a few examples of how to manipulate those arrays. So first thing what I'll do is I just wanna show you what it looks like. So we'll do a console.log and then add the array in there. So we have songs. I am in VS Code. What I do is I just run the file. So I go command tick to open the terminal and then navigate to the folder you're going to and then type node and then the file name and then run it and that'll run your JavaScript files and it's gonna output the contents of that array. So in this case, we did the variable songs and this entire variable. Another useful tip is console.log songs dot. So dot means we're looking into the array and what I'm going to output is the link. So let's save and run that one again. You see we have three objects in the array. Now we're gonna move on to the next one. What we're gonna do is append to the array and what we do that by using dot push. So we're gonna take the array, now I'm switching from songs to make this a little more simple to just an array of strings, so artists. So I have three values here. So we're taking three values. We have Eilish, Gaga, Cyrus, and we're gonna add a value at the end. So what we use there is we take the array dot push, so we're adding a value to it, and we're gonna add Bieber. And then we're gonna console.log the name of the array. So let's go ahead and run that. And you'll see the original is Eilish, Gaga, Cyrus, and now we have Bieber at the end of the string. That's a way to add to the end. The next one we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the last value from the string. Now what we can do is we can specify the value specifically, or we can just do array.pop and that will take the last value. Or you could say which values, for example, if you have zero, one, two, three, you could say three if you have four in the string and you can remove that by saying value. What we're gonna do is make this simple and we're just gonna do artist.pop and then have no value. So in this case, we have three, Eilish, Gaga, Cyrus. If we do pop, it'll take out the last Cyrus. So we're doing just these two lines here. Let's go ahead and run that. And you can see the last Cyrus is removed from the array. The next one, what we're going to do is we're going to do instead of the end, we're going to do the beginning. And the way we do that at the beginning is unshift or shift. Unshift will add contents to the beginning of the array. So let's take a look at that. So what we'll do is we'll do the name of the array dot unshift, then the new value. So just so you can take a look at, we have these three artists in there and we're gonna add Bieber at the beginning. Let's go ahead and run that. And now you'll see our value, our new values at the beginning. What if we wanna remove that value? Then instead of unshift, we use shift. So what we do there is we do the name of the array dot shift. And in this case, I'm just gonna leave it blank. So it's gonna remove that first content so that just to take a look at our array again we have var artist and we have these three artists so if we leave it blank it's just going to do the first one so what we should get is gaga and cyrus and then let's go ahead and console log the name of the array so if we run that we get gaga and cyrus what if we want to sort these this is a common uh, function what we can do is the name of the array dot reverse and that will reverse the contents let's take a look at that let's run that one 
And as you can see, we now get the, the second value, the first value, and the initial zero value. The last one I'm gonna show you is the sort. And what this does is it'll sort alphabetically by string or number by number. So what we'll do is we'll do the name of the array dot sort, and then we'll do parentheses and we'll leave that blank. So it'll sort uh, just by default. And then we're gonna do console.log to show the output of that. So if we run that, you'll see it's C, then E, then G. And just to, to show you again, this was the original order and it went C, G, and E. What we could do just to show you a little differently, we'll do, we'll put that in the middle. We'll save and rerun. So we have E, C, and G, and it should give us the same output. Yeah, C, E, and G. That's gonna do it for this short video of JavaScript arrays. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment if you have any additional suggestions or ideas on this topic. I would love to hear from you. A couple other ones I wanted to honorable mentions are slice and splice. I'm planning to do more JavaScript tutorials in the future. So comment if you wanna hear more about splice or any other areas of JavaScript. I would enjoy doing those short tutorials. That's gonna do it for now. I'll see you in the next one. I hope you have an awesome day.